Hi, I'm Jo Bridey and I teach yoga online. Today I'm going to talk about yin yoga and I'm going to show exactly how it works through demonstrating one of the poses. In yin, we come into a pose, we stay very still, we focus on what's going on in the body and then we stay for three, four, five minutes or longer. The reason why we stay longer in the poses is because we want to give the muscles a chance to release. And only when the muscles release do we work into the deeper connective tissue in the body. Let's have a go at one of the poses. Today I'm going to demonstrate reclined butterfly, one of my favourites. So we come to lying down first, on your back. So let's take a moment here to settle first. So having your legs hip width apart, just let the feet roll off the ankles the arms out to the sides a little with the palms facing up. Just give the jaw a little wiggle. The shoulders away from the ears. Just notice that connection with the floor. We're just going to take our attention to the breath, just noticing where it is in the body. Take a few natural breaths here. In yoga, it's this connection with the breath that makes it yoga. Just notice how the body feels. In yin, we really focus in on what's going on in the body, making it a very meditative practice. You may get distracted by thoughts when practicing, but when you do, you just come back to the breath. And then we come into our recline butterfly now. So bending the knees, soles of feet on the floor. And then we're going to take the knees wide, bring the soles of the feet together. So in yin, we have an area of the body where we want to feel a deep stretch. It's the area of connective tissue that we're focusing on. So our target area for recline butterfly is the groin and the inner thigh area. So anywhere along there we're looking for a, a deep stretch. So that could be a dull ache, a little bit of discomfort but nothing sharp. And you may need to move your feet a little bit away from the body to access this. Everybody's hip joint is a little bit different. And what's important in our yin practice is not necessarily how the pose looks, but if you're feeling it in the right area. So if you're feeling a 7 out of 10, a dull ache, an intense stretch in the groin, the inner thigh area right now, then you're doing the pose. Just let the arms settle. Checking that you're not holding on to any tension anywhere. So it's only when muscles release that we access this deeper tissue, this connective tissue. And then we consciously release through the body. If we're holding on to muscle, we're not accessing that deep tissue. So we want to let it all go now. Softening in the belly. Softening through the legs, all the way down to the toes. Softening through the chest and the upper back. Just scanning the body, checking there's nowhere where you're holding on. And we take our focus back to the breath. Or 
maybe to the target area, somewhere that helps connect the mind to the body. Unlike the more dynamic forms of yoga where you're flowing from one pose to the next, in yin, we come to the pose and we stay very still. And in a pose like Recline Butterfly, we would stay in this position nice and still for three minutes, five minutes, or even longer if you like. Allowing these tight areas, particularly in the groin and inner thigh, all connected to the lower back. We have tightness and restriction here. It can really pull on this area. So we're consciously releasing it now. If you're practicing at home, you can use a timer. And then when you've completed, you come out of the pose, just coming back into that lying down position, pose of Shavasana. We always take a little rest in between the poses. We call this the rebind. And in rebind, all we do is relax, release, and then just take your attention to any sensation in the body. Just noticing what the pose has generated. Any tingling, fizzing, any changes in temperature, just stay with it. So we allow the connective tissue to release. Allow the body to settle. Typically in a weekday class, we would start with a focus on the breath, spending time connecting to it. Then we practice four or five poses with our rebinds in between and then finish with a nice nourishing relaxation. If you'd like to join me in any of my classes, then please do get in contact. Thank you for watching my video today. Namaste.